Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is on the newest Sansi update. This brings us some new challenges in the Sansi Pyramid map, as well as some pets. Let's go and check out the pets. So you'll see from this icon right above the pet and travel form vendor, there is something in there. Now, before I go any further with this video, I do want to mention spoilers are ahead. So if you don't want to ruin anything for yourself, you might want to stop watching right now. If you enjoy, be sure to tap that like button and hit the subscribe. Turn on the notification if you don't want to miss any of my uploads. Let's check this out. So first you have a quest. Now, I'm not sure if this is a quest line or not, but anyways, this is the quest right here you're getting some xp from it it seems to be like a quest line i won't go into details on it well, uh, so we have a quest line right here that we have to do in order to get access to the pet shop with the different things in there so i'm just going to run through these quickly and then go from there now once you complete the quest line you're going to be getting access to the pet shop and everything in it so let's check these out. We've got these scarabs. So now some of this costs gold, others of it costs bastion bucks, and then you have some that cost dragon crystals. So that's pretty cool. Let's see the desert scarab. There we go. That is the that is really neat. And then you have different colors. Let's just check. I won't check all of them, but that is really awesome. I love that. I am curious to know what the difference is. Okay, okay. So that is it's red, but it's also very lava ish and then you have an ice version as well which i'm interested okay that looks almost similar to the original but it's more of an ice version and then you have the red royal what does that oh wow of course there's a pink version as well might as well check the pink that uh, that is really awesome and then you have a fire royal and then a ice royal oh that is gorgeous then you the snake so the sandy snakes, I love the snakes. So this is really neat. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go for, but most likely the purple, that looks really good. Or dark, perhaps? I'm not sure. But oh, that it looks, oh man, I love snakes. So, I mean, I don't love snakes, but I just love the animation of these snakes. These, oh, this is really awesome too. Wow, so many good options. I'm not even sure which one to go for. And then you've got the scorpion I won't check all of them. I'll check the red. I'm checking my favorite colors here. So this is really awesome. And this, it's such amazing details on these things. Ooh, teal. Neat. And then, ooh, golden. Oh, that is so cool. And then, of course, you have the specialty, which is the living cacti pet. Now, this is 2,000 Bastion Bucks. Now, if you guys have not been doing your Bastion Bucks, you might want to get farming on that because these things and there we go that is the living cacti looks like he's crouched down but he's ready to go now if you guys were not aware they will be adding a new thing to the skiff travel so you can travel to the valley of the undying king or you can travel to the not so secret hideout location this will be taking you to of course the rebel camp now at this point we're going to be heading back to the dungeon now if you guys had already done the dungeon in the last section this is going to be having you re-enter that dungeon but there's going to be some new items that you're going to be going after and i haven't seen these yet so i'm interested to know what they look like and what the stats of them are if there are any stats i didn't actually check to see if there were so we're going to be talking to the crocus pyramid guard and there's the Crocus Challenge quest right there. So you get to defeat the Crocus statue. Now this is repeatable. Look at the XP you're getting on that. Now this is good because the challenge stuff give you more XP now. So it's actually a profitable way of getting XP compared to having to run low level dungeons. And of course, you've got the Crocus treasure as well. So here we go. These are the stats right here. Now this is compared to what I'm currently wearing just to let you know what I am wearing, it is the Sansi royalty stuff. So this is what I am currently using right now. So I'm not wearing state-of-the-art stuff. But these are the comparable stats. Really good stats. This is what you're going to be needing. Now that is a lot of teeth if you're only getting 10 per dungeon run. That's going to be like 300 dungeon runs. But the stats on this look 
really good. And let's check these out as well. So you've got the Keeper of Water armor and the belt. I won't show everything. Oh, I like that. That is really cool. Man, they've really come a long way when it comes to their textures and stuff compared to what they used to be way back in 2007. Oh, look at that. The shoulders. Now, this is the armor set. There is no weapon for this. So, so far, the weapon, the best weapon we have is still the ones that you get from the original Sand Sea. So, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, I'm not going to be running the dungeon in this video. I want to wait and run the dungeon when it's on the live server because I also like to be surprised by things. So there you go. That gives you a brief glimpse at what's coming this week. What do you guys think of those items and pets? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Keep those swords swinging. Thank you.